What's going on everybody? I'm going to say and today I just brought in the Toyota, the 2000 Toyota Solara into the alignment rack. Well, I'm not doing an alignment, but I'm going to do a brake inspection since this thing hasn't got its brakes changed for a while, so I need to check if the brakes are still good. And these also have the lifters, so I'm going to lift this car up and I'll, I'll go from there. Now I'm underneath the car. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out I'm gonna go find the pinch welds, which are over there on the side of the car. I'll lift the car up. Now since I got the car lifted up, in some cars they have the little hub cap here. All I need to do is if you got a little bit of a, an opening here, which this thing does, which is over here, all I need to do is grab a flathead screwdriver and pops right out. Well, I should be grabbing it, but I'm do that for demonstration's sake. Now we'll give you access to the lug nuts. You recording? Yeah. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these in. As you can see, this one does fit. Come on closer. As you can see, this one does fit, and this one is a 21 millimeter hex. Now, this one's a double side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this extension. It fits in there. Sorry if it kind of startled you, but we're going to put this in here. Uh, come on. There you go. And now, we wail away. that in mind, the wheel comes off. So now uh, I'm going to take off this caliper right here. This is what I'm going to take off right here. This caliper. Come a little closer. This is what I'm going to be taking out. And now it has a 14 millimeter bolt, so I'm going to put a 14 millimeter socket into it. And I'm going to use a breaker bar. Go ahead screw it. Now, this will depend where I am facing, so counterclockwise is going this way. So on my side, where I'm facing right now, I have to go ahead and pull the breaker bar, or push the breaker bar clockwise. If I can try to find it, put the in there. Sometimes this angle is kind of bad. I like to play nice. This side. Nope, that doesn't work. Stop recording. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's getting loose. There you go. Now, top part. Come here. Now. Push that in, and there we go, we broke it loose. Now, I'm gonna go grab myself a half fish ratchet. So this one's a half inch uh, breaker bar. Now I'm going to loosen this up. Sometimes these brakes, these brakes will be uh, a little bit of a bastard to get out. Yeah. Alright, so we got the brake caliper out. Now, I'm just gonna. Some of our um, guys over here, they get a hanger, and then we just hang it up here on the, on the, on the coils of the spring, which you guys cannot see, but it's up here. Up there, but you can't see well. But uh, we usually put a hanger up there. But in this case, I'm not going to be doing anything serious with this. I'm just going to 
lay it down right there just for now because I'm going to um, use a micrometer or a digital caliper to measure the thickness of this rotor because the thickness of this rotor right now says our nominal thickness is right 1.102 so that's about uh, about 11 inches one point yeah so 1.11 ish check on your brake pads to see if there's any hairline cracks. Check any hairline cracks on your brake pads. And as you can see, this one does not have a lot of hairline cracks. You see that? Yeah. Not a lot of hairline cracks. These brake pads are good. And look at how much meat that thing has. That thing has plenty of meat. So, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use a micrometer or digital caliper in this case. Let's go measure the thickness of the rotor. Turn it on. Zero it out. Now zero it out. Ah, nominal. We're around 1.80. And then up here. which is the same 1.83 time. Then also down here, which is also one, well, this one is actually 1.07, but we're still in spec. So we're still pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm actually going to um, work on the other brakes, check them out, and then I'll see you guys towards the end. Last thing before we do our final step is uh, we're gonna use brake lube. Now normally we will put this when we're putting new, we normally do this when we're putting new of, of these little metal things here. But in this case, we're not doing this. I'm just doing a, just a basic inspection of my car. But it, once we do have, once you do put like new um, pads in, if you're gonna do a brake replacement, Put new rotors put new pads in it or something like that and when it, if it has this if you've gotten one of those new ones just if this thing will come out take some of this brake grease or yeah brake lubricant and just put it right there i'll put some of it on the back too come over to the other side Same thing. Now you do not want too much of it. You just want a little bit of it, just to cover up the entire brake line. Now we're almost done. Now we're just going to put the brake pad in. So what we're going to do. We put pads in now this only this is like I said I'm just doing a brake inspection everything's still good but when you're replacing brakes you must use a clamp uh, to push this in all you need to do is just put the brake put the brake pad in and then just clamp and then use a, a clamp to push that piston in Now the brake count, brake pads are in. Now all I need to do is put the caliper back on. So that's one side hand tighten. We'll go on the other side. Now the same thing that we did the, on the left hand side, we're gonna do the same thing on the right hand side. So, I already put the brake lube in. So, you put your pad back on, like so. And you 
you're not gonna see it as well, but I'm going to be putting this brake pad in. Try to fit it into that slot. There we go. Now, put the camera in there. Now, as you can see, the brake pads are now sandwiched together. Think of it as these two as burger buns, and this one is the patty. Now they're sandwiched together. Now the final thing that I'm gonna do before I start tightening these up is to put the caliper on and hand tighten the screws, or the bolts in this case. brakes is we're going to torque it. Now we have here is a torque wrench. And what the neat thing is about these things is it has that when you start tightening it, uh, it works like a ratchet in a, in, a, in a sense. But you only use this for tightening, not loosening stuff obviously. So uh, this will be, oh this one's a little bit too small. But basically what this is, once it, got, it gets a really hard to, to tighten, you will eventually hear a click. So once you hear that click, it's all torque and it's all good to go. Just to do this, the small torque wrench has, uh, has like goes all the way down to 10 foot pounds of torque. So what I'm going to do is I already put that thing up to uh, at least 20 foot pounds of torque. And all I need to do is I'm going to put it into the into the caliper. This is the caliper to the bracket. So it's about 20, uh, 20 foot pounds of torque. We're gonna find the sweet spot. Oh, I, for, I almost forgot. This one actually is not tight. So, I'm gonna use this. Use my ratchet to tighten it up. But with the ratchet, I am not going to tighten it. Uh, I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'm gonna Give it a nice snug. All right, now the thing is starting to get tight. Once it gets snug, I stop there because I'm going to tighten even more with the torque wrench. And I'll show you why the torque wrench comes in handy. This one's tight. Now, since we're here, let's grab the torque wrench. Now this one's about 20 foot-pounds of torque. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to torque it. And once you hear the click, that means we're all torque. A little closer. You hear that, guys? That's a, that's a click. That means we're all torque. To the bottom, also a click. Yeah. This click is wrong, man. Yep. That's serious. Little, all right, so we're all good. I'll do the other side off camera and I'll put the wheels back on. Now, since we're all torqued, uh, the caliper bracket's now torqued. Time to put the rim back on. Now, this one actually is lighter than I thought it would be. I mean, it, it is heavy stuff, but it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. So. Now, since the rim is on the hub, put, I'm still putting my hand onto the rim. On, I'm going to, going to use one lug nut and hand tighten it. So the rim, so the lug nut can actually grip onto the rim so this thing will not fall off. The other one and put the other lug nut across it. So I put this lug nut on top first to allow the rim nut to fall off. Now I use this one to at least balance it out. Now when you're putting rims back on, professionally, um, let me see here, uh, where's the thumb? In, in motorsports like Formula One, NASCAR, or Le Mans, they use the uh, the impact gun to retighten the wheels back on. But in a in an auto shop's perspective, we don't do that. 
because you may over torque it. So that's where the torque wrench comes in handy. We only use the drill, the impact drill, when we take off rims at an auto shop. But it, the only exception is like NASCAR or any other motorsport event where you need to get out of the pits as soon as possible. But in this case, we don't, we're, we don't need to use the gun. not going in circles. I'm actually going boom, boom, boom. We're doing the star pattern here. When you're putting back rims on, you kind of want to balance the rim out. You do not want it to, because if you, if you did the circle method at the first shot, your wheel is going to be probably, it's going, it's probably going to wobble. And you do not want to risk that part. Sometimes, it, I mean, it may not happen to your cars, but it's better to be on the safe side. So that's, you know, that saying, better safe than sorry, right? So that's the thing. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do next is where is my ratchet? My ratchet's right there. Now, just like I did with that brake calipers, I'm going to give a snug fit to these so once again so the last thing that you're gonna before we start torquing them just like of what I did to the calipers I'm gonna use a ratchet but now here since I'm here let's go over with a, a little tip here now normally some people would like to go jink 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 which is great that's fine but the problem is it may uh, make your wheel imbalance so what you're gonna do in it, what you're gonna do now is you're going to go, so let's say this is number one, this is bolt number one. So once I snug fit that, you go to bolt number two. That's bolt number two. You gotta go across. The star, that's what the star method is. What, you basically go across from the bolt from where you started. So if that's one, this is number two. That's number two. Now, number three is over here. Snug fit. Number four. Number five. And then now you do the circle method this time. Just to keep make sure if all the bolts are snug. So all the bolts are snug. Now it's time to put them on the torque wrench. But first. I'm going to put, I'm going to go work on the other wheel off camera. So we, we already tightened the vehicle, but we're not, we're not quite done yet. We're, we did tighten it up, but we're quite not done yet. So why don't you come back down here, point the camera over here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to lower this. So we have three levers here. And currently this middle lever is unengaged because it's locked. So I'm going to press, turn it to the left to release it. And then I'm going to point these two levers outwards to put the rear end of the car down. As you can see, these lift points are going down. because I just need some, I need part of the vehicle's weight to, so I can be able to tighten these rims lug nuts out. So we're all good with that. Now we're ready to torque. Now, on, the, on this book over here, on this book had all the brake specifications got, plus the, nut, the, the lug nut torque specifications. 
So on the Toyota Solara over here, it has 76 foot-pounds of torque. So, where is uh, torquing? Yeah. Tighten this up. Should be out of here. 76. Oh, shoot. One. So that's that's a 70 right there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. Now, same, same thing what we did with the star method. But this time on the torque wrench, you put one of our hands here, and then we grab our other hand on this. Once again, once you hear the click, it's torque. Method go across. Click. Click. Number four. Number five. Now, circle method. Double check. That one's good. Come on, there you go. Good two. Good two. There we go. And number five. And finally, put the put the hubcap back on if your car has a hubcap. And then you guys are all ready to go. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish it off uh, by tightening the, uh, the other lug nuts off camera. Since the wheels are now torqued, lower it down. Now what And then that, that is it guys, um, that was all that I have to do today for this Toyota Solara. Uh, once again, I did a, a brake inspection, at least on the front, but uh, so the front brakes are working good. So hopefully on Thursday, hopefully on Thursday I'll, I'll work on the rears, but until then, that is all for now.